It's time to take your content to the next level. This is Text 101. Welcome to the CapCut YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching our CapCut 101 series, hello, nice to meet you. If it's not, welcome back. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly tutorials and product updates on all things CapCut. This is the fourth video in an 11 part series on how to take yourself from an editing beginner to an editing pro. So if you haven't already caught our other tutorials, definitely go back and check those out. Today, we're gonna talk about text. I'm gonna take you through all the options for adding text to your videos, auto captions, and more. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open the desktop desktop app. Everything we're going to talk about is in the text tab on the left. When you open it, your first option at the top is to add your own custom text. Let's go ahead and drag the default text on down to the timeline. When we do this, the dynamic menu on the right is going to change to a text editor. Here you can write out what you want your text to say or even have the AI writer do it for you. Simply describe what you're trying to talk about and the AI writer will do the rest. Once you've gotten your text written, you can change the font, size, style, case, and color. If you've caught our previous CapCut 101 tutorials, you already know that this little diamond button here is a keyframe. So you can use that button to start your text out as one color and then transform it into a different one. So cool. The character number changes the kerning of your text and the line number changes the spacing between your lines. You can also change the alignment of your text to make it right justified, left justified, top justified, bottom justified. Lots of options. CapCut also has a ton of presets to change the look and feel of your text. I usually go with the black outlined white text, but there are a ton of options here to choose from. You can outline, highlight, or drop shadow so that your text is easier to read. You can also change the scale and positioning on your screen. You can rotate your text as well. And once again, these things can be keyframe to make the text more dynamic in your video. You can also change the opacity of your text here. The following sections are where you can add your own background, outline, glow, or shadow. These are all really great options to make sure your text is legible. The last thing I wanna show you on this menu is the curve section. You can give your text a little bit of shape by checking this box and playing around with the slider. I feel like this is a great option for titles to help them stand out a little bit more. Let's go to the bubble tab. Here you can add text bubble, or other cute little backgrounds to your text. This one here is a little banner. You've also got a little grocery shopping list, a little clothing tag, and a lot more. The effects tab is where you can add a little bit of razzle dazzle to your text. We've got gradients, glow, multicolor, and a ton of different color options. Just keep in mind that some of these are CapCut Pro effects, so you won't be able to export your final video unless you're a CapCut Pro user. Once you've got your text looking the way you want it to, you can save these specific text settings to your brand kit. This will allow you to access the exact same text for future videos, and I'll show you where this is in a second. Right above the basic, bubble, and effects tabs, you're gonna see four additional menu options to alter your text. The animation menu allows you to add movement to your text. Some will bring the text into your video, some will take it out, and some will just be on a loop. I personally like using animations to differentiate my titles from other text in the video, but there's a ton of room for creativity here. The tracking tab allows your text to motion track you or a different moving subject in your video. And the text to speech tab, as the name would suggest, allows your text to be read out loud. You can even head over to the AI character tab to have a model read your text for you on screen. Now that we know the ins and outs of editing your text, let's head back to the text tab on the left side of the screen. If you go to the presets subcategory, this is where you're gonna find all of those specific text settings that you've saved to your brand kit. This way you can have the same look and feel across all of your video content. This is great for making your content recognizable and building that familiarity with your audience. Let's head on down to the effects tab here. This is the same section as that effects tab in the right side dynamic menu. It can be a little easier to find what you're looking for over here because there are a lot of different subcategories. You can even see which text effects are trending on CapCut. The text template section has a lot of text preset options. We're just coming off of Valentine's Day, so there are a ton of B-Day options in the trending section. You've also got the social media subcategory with a ton of calls to action for your video. You can easily remind people to like, subscribe, and comment using these. To use these, just drag them down to your timeline like you would any other effect. And if you wanna change what they say, you can do this in the text editor on the right side. I feel like the cool part about the text templates is that a lot of them are already animated, so you don't have to do that yourself. It can save a lot of time. Finally, let's talk about one of the most important elements in social media videos, 
captions. Adding captions to your videos is a great way to make sure that your content is accessible to people who are hard of hearing or to people who just have their volume turned down on their phone. It could be the difference between someone watching your video till the end and swiping away. They can also be a really great way to keep your audience engaged. I'm gonna go ahead and add auto captions to my video here and I can do this in several different languages. When I click into my captions on my timeline, the text editor opens on the right. Here I can change what the captions are saying. Sometimes I'll censor words or change the spelling of a name that the captions didn't pick up on. I can also change the look and feel of my captions just like I can with any other text. But things get more interesting in the templates tab. Here I can change the way that the captions show up on screen. This is where keeping your audience engaged comes in. If you have captions that are moving quickly or just look different from the norm, this can keep your viewer engaged with your content for longer. Anytime you have something on screen that's constantly changing, your viewer retention is gonna go up. So let's just say I use this captions template. You can see that my captions now type up instead of showing up all at once. Adding this simple movement makes my video more dynamic. But let's take it a step further and head to the captions tab above this. Here are all the captions in my video without any effects or template. I can break these up so that everything in my captions shows up word by word or line by line. And you can see that when I break them up so that only one or two words are showing at a time, the pace of my video quickens. Take a little scroll through TikTok and look at how big creators creators are using captions. You'll notice that a lot of them break them up this way to increase their viewer retention. Just wanted to throw in that little pro tip, okay? Definitely try it out and let us know how it goes. If you prefer to create your captions outside of CapCut, you can always upload them in the local captions tab over here. So there you have it, the ins and outs of text on the CapCut desktop app. Are there any particular text templates or effects that you're feeling lately? What are some hacks that you're using for your captions? Let us know in the comments. Also, definitely let us know what you wanna learn about next. And with that, I will catch you in the next tutorial. Bye. The fun doesn't stop here. Hit that subscribe button and join the CapCut crew. Your passport to editing awesomeness awaits.